welcome back uh, let's begin the next one so hope you are able to reach at this stage where you are able to see all these options so we'll try to set up a relationship between them like you have to understand them before using them so i'll take a sample website for this so this is a website which we are taking as our product so if you see it has various features right this search is a feature uh this cart is a feature these categorization is another feature right and it has some header likewise there is some section here right so all these we can categorize as the various features on the website right so uh, let me show you that how how it is categorized in case of epic right sorry in in case of azure devops so if you see the things are categorized in this way right at the top they have something called as epic then we have feature then we have user story then we have task then we have issues so things are achieved by task right somebody will do the development task somebody will do the testing task and these task will make the user story to be complete a user to he will have various task for example task 1 task 2 task 3 you might have to create a database to achieve this right you have to write some test cases so all those things are achieved by task right so task is the very basic entity user story is a user feature for example a user should be able to search t-shirts right so this is a user story and the feature would be at high level for example it can be a search and if uh, we have even apis and also maybe epic we call as ui of our product right so that can be an epic ui like search is a feature we can say that headers portion is another feature right and cart is another feature so this is the way the whole hierarchy is maintained and this will help you in maintaining what you call as like in earlier days we used to have this requirement traceability matrix right so we used to maintain that okay this is the requirement it has its test cases right so we know that each requirement is covered by a test case but with these modern tools all these things are taken care but if you manage them properly so this was about the theory part like we at the top we have epic then we have feature user story and task right things are done at this level and then there can be issue or uh, there can be bug right there can be bug for which will be attached to the user story right and there can be a task to fix this bug right so everything is tracked by task like in agile generally it's a one day thing like every day you create some task or in the uh, project planning meeting right we have some various task which we work on these task will help you to achieve the user stories there can be multiple user story under a single feature and then all these features make the epic right so let's see it practically now how all these things are done so we have taken this example hope you are ready here if you face any issue let me know so let's create our first epic okay let's assume that that site is having web services api as well right so i am writing here ui of automation store so this categorization will vary like based on the categorization that you are doing right so now if you see i cannot see that like where is that epic and all so for that you can go to boards right so here if you see that i am seeing that epic in fact i'll see all the items on this page so if you see type as of now just epic is there so that's why epic is coming so i'll go inside this it will have a unique number so it it got a number 1 right and so then what we can do is i'll add a child link so here there is a new item so that new item is a child and what i want is i want to add a user story or sorry i would add a feature right so there is a search feature for the website right i'll not name it feature because the categorization is search categories i can say here right person can search categories right and beyond that i can firstly you have to save it before making any other changes right now we have that now i will create another item i'm just trying to create the same way i showed you right user story so 
this is under the search feature there is a user story i can say user should be able to search dresses right that could be one item i'll create over here you see this got created right so let me close it so that you are not uh, confused how is it going so i'll go back to boards again so where you will see three items now right so you are seeing one because here we are maintaining at uh, stories level right so uh, you can even check at features level that how is it looking so this is the feature right there can be multiple features so teams tracking happen by this in agile where we have various tasks so generally this is tracked at the task level so we move our task from various categories like you see that firstly you create new then it's active like in or in progress you can say and then resolved if it is a bug and then you can mark it as closed so these uh, all these status are these are customizable you can add more but these are by default uh, given by azure devops right so here you can do these settings right so to show you that back let's go to queries which is an important feature where you will Uh, see in a better way what i am trying to explain right so i am writing a query where work item type is let's say epic and this is a very good option where you can see it as a tree of items right let me run this query and work item type of any we want the parent child relationship right so if it is confusing no problem but now it will make sense right now you can see that what we created is we'll cover this queries topic in very detail but now for showing in this way i'm showing you that how the categorization is happening right now if i'll add another feature it will come at this level user stories will at this level and then there will be task level so this way it is easy to know that okay for achieving this search feature if there are 10 user stories what are their states right so now i'll quickly move and add some things here so for example this is the user story so i'll create a task maybe let's say i am adding a child instead of user story i'll add a task let's say test case creation right or scenarios test scenarios that you would be doing to test this test scenario creation right so that i don't miss uh, creating scenarios for any of these user stories right so uh, we have now if i run that you will see another layer over here right this is a task that somebody would work on and i can assign it to myself save and here you can give the estimates right for example if i feel that that it can take maybe 4 hours right so i can mention 4 hour what is start date target date right and here uh, there is business area that uh, you can select uh, for example here these also is uh, you can define that it's a development activity or is a testing activity so that you can differentiate your task right and apart and now i'll tell you important things that how we do that rtm case here basically requirement traceability matrix so i'll create a new item and here instead of child i will say tested by so this user story is getting tested by a test case right we created epic we created feature we created task right user story now it's time to create a test case okay i can say verify user is able to search for dresses right there are various categories so first thing i would like to know that a positive scenario that user is able to do the and in the test cases here you can uh, maybe write in the way you want like at high level that user is able to search for let's say there are five types of dresses i'll just mention dresses to quickly do it and then you can have those uh, five various categories of dress that you want to search so that i don't want to increase the number of test cases and like just for the showing purpose that there are more cases right we can mention things like that and what is the expected result it's obvious right user should be able to see and if we have a particular ui we can 
uh, attach it here in under attachment that can be that a person has to verify so i'll click on this and i'll run that okay so you'll see test case is not a child item that's why it's not coming here but it will come here at the user story level that this is getting tested by so here there is a hierarchy that has been created right uh, you can practice and create more so we have created epic uh, then we have created feature and then we created user story and there is a task right and if there is a bug right that can also be created let me quickly show you that as well so i can suppose there is a failing one of the test cases failing i can create a new item and name it as again a child of this so that we can track that this user story has how many bugs i can say getting 501 error right when searching for a particular dress right i can say when searching for night suit okay just a uh, high level thing i'm fastly creating you can write the reproduce steps environment and give the bug detail so that a developer or nobody has to reach you back again to you right and you can even add tags that this is coming in search tagging is a very good functionality you can click on save and close so hope you understood this that uh, how we can create and you can have multiple ones right and see it this way and now you know that how to do the tracking we'll cover this in more detail so if any problems till now just let me know thank you for watching right